I'm Kate Dillon with CrateInsider.com, and today I am lucky enough to meet with the Director of Motorsports from PFC Brakes, Derek Dong. Um, you've got a lot of experience in the brake world, I know, and uh, love for you to tell us a little bit about brake pads. Well, I think uh, the first thing that uh, your audience should recognize is a company that, uh, that uh, supplies products that, uh, of, of, like PFC, that we do 100% uh, of the hot end components, and that is we not only manufacture the brake pads, we manufacture the calipers, and we also manufacture the discs. Very few companies are actually can provide that kind of um, product coverage. So when it comes to the complexity of the of friction modeling, it is not something that you haphazardly go about. So I think the thing that your audience should probably recognize first is what actually stops the car. And what actually stops the car is the tire, not the brakes. What the brakes do is stop the wheel. And so what we're trying to do is we're trying to have friction products that have not only high bite, high uh, torque output, but is actually smooth in its transient responses to to take advantage of the grip of the tire. So when uh, retailers uh, offer you a particular PFC brake pad and it ha comes in various different compounds, many times those compounds are formulated specifically for the demand that the series that you're racing in. So it's not, um, you may have some manufacturers that will offer half a dozen different compounds, but they don't tell you why they have so many different characteristics to those brake pads. So the f I think the first thing you need to understand about brake pads generally is in the old days we used to refer to them as soft, medium, and hard. Uh, nowadays with the uh, carbon metallic or the carbonization type processes that we use, there is no difference in the density of the racing products. We only have to, we have to build the characteristics into the brake pads, which is a, a much different uh, philosophy. So when you think about brake pads, you need to think about the characteristics of what you're trying to achieve. Most people want a lot of bite, like for instance an asphalt or road course, but in dirt, you don't want a lot of bite. You want something that's smooth and consistent. So um, the torque output and the bite needs to be adjusted to that grip model. And again, we're talking about the tire. So when we make some recommendations of various different compounds, it's the characteristics that we're trying to take advantage of uh, for your vehicle. Now, typically durability comes into play for endurance racers, as, and as you can see from this brake pad, this is for a full GT uh, car, and it's got uh, a giant brake pad in here compared to what we would normally put into a dirt late model um, uh, brake system. And then again, you have your GM calipers that are very popular amongst the uh, Saturday night racers. And we make uh, quite a few um, different compounds and versions of that because of the various different categories that those particular applications are raced in. Now, um, to uh, one of the benefits of using uh, a performance friction pad is that uh, we have this process called race ready. And what race ready is, is basically we take the brake pad after we formulate it and we actually put it in an oven and we take it to a thousand degrees and we essentially heat treat the brake pad for literally hours at a time. And what this does for you is it reduces the, the bedding, the so-called bedding time between that and the, uh, uh, the disc. Now with PFC's discs, for instance, they're cut in such a manner that there's no uh, problems of green effectiveness, which is where the brake disc has a lot of silicon in it from when they went to manufacture it for coolants. And um, with ours, they, there's none. So the, there's also a couple of elements from the brake pad that's incorporated into the brake disc itself. So there's a very homogeneal environment for the two to, to make together. Wow. Is that 
Very good. Do it. Yeah, there's, there's <laughs> a lot of information there, and you know, I can see where, you know, not only do you get the right brake system, but then you want to, you know, t tweak the brake pads that you're using to make sure that they're suitable for the conditions in which you run. Exactly. What you're what you're doing is, um, you want to be talking to your retailer or talking to your uh, performance friction race uh, engineer, and he'll uh, try to understand what characteristics that we need to incorporate to take advantage of uh, what the, you're trying to accomplish with the car. And uh, many times uh, the, 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 the drivers will tell you what the car is doing and uh, at the same time you're, what you're trying to understand is how do I make that better where I don't upset the tire. And I think that's uh, where a lot of the that that's what differentiates us from the from the competition is that because we're in so many different classes worldwide i mean that in uh when we actually tried to keep track of uh how many different championships we were involved with i think in 2009 uh we we actually figured out that we were in 257 world and national championships that year and uh which is more than the all the tire guys or the spark plug guys or the you know so we uh, we know that uh, it's a great responsibility and that that's why we uh, uh, enjoy the that kind of uh, success well thank you so much for taking the time to meet with me and it's not an accident that we've chosen to to uh, carry the PFC brake pads in our line and these are available at crateinsider.com and the brakes section of our website so thanks again have thank a great day much. PFC brakes are available in our online store at CrateInsider.com. Check out our website for other tech articles, and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel to see the latest videos as they're released. Thanks for watching.